This is like the one location we've been to where there's actually possessions and you have a migraine. Something is happening. My arm just started burning. Yo, what? Can you give us a yes or a no answer for that? Watch them burn. No way, dude. What? I think something's happening to the team. Part two of the Hinsdale House. So far, it has been an absolutely crazy, intense night. If you haven't seen part one, check the link below, go watch that right now, and then come back to this video and watch this part. But right now, we're gonna continue where we left off, and we're gonna keep on the duo's theme. It's so scary, too, because it's just past 2 a.m. right now. We got five hours left, and it seems like if you watched part one, you'd know that, like, the activity is just ramped up, and it's about, like, it seems like we're peaking right now with activity. Tanner and Chelsea are gonna go explore the haunted forest that's behind this house. Me and Dakota are gonna stay in the house and kind of follow up with you guys' experience while we were gone. I don't really wanna go outside. <laughs> you look ready. Look warm. Do I look prepared to ghost hunt outside? Yes. Well, I'm mentally not. Okay, at least yes. you're honest, you know? You could have said you're doing great and you would've been lying. Well, on that note. Good luck. Good luck. Let's have some fun out. Let's have some fun. Tanner, have fun out there. Yeah, cheers. Great, it's freezing. Okay, what do you say? Let's go into the woods. Perfect time to start snowing out here. Dude, this is so unnerving. I can't see shit. Ooh, my boots are wet. Are they? <laughs> <laughs> Great. About to get sick. <laughs> it's about to get really uncomfortable. Oh no. Do you know where we're going? Not a clue. I have zero clue where we are going, where we are headed. You can't just give us like 10 acres of land and say go find something. Give me a compass or something. <laughs> yeah. Can you point us in it, like a direction at least? All right, dude. All right. Let's get exploring. We got a whole house to ourselves. Are the REM pods still on? Yeah, so if you guys missed part one, we got a REM pod right now on the top of the stairs right there. We have a REM pod behind Alex in Mike's room. And then we have a REM pod over here in this main living room area over in Beth's room where there was an exorcism that took place here. So we got the whole place booby trapped. If anything's here, we will know. Where do you want to start? I mean, we've hit the second floor. We've hit this floor. There's one spot that we can check out. What? You want to see what the cellar looks like? There's a basement here? Yeah, there's like a really small cellar, but I think that's where the crawl space is. That Friend pot's going off. That's temperature fluctuation. That means the temperature just changed right by the REM pod. Can you step away from that device? Dude. Right when you asked. Okay, well there you go. That's why we have these REM pods set up. That's exactly why. Like that has been happening all night. All right, let's do this. Let's go find the cellar. It's actually quite weird because it's located in the bathroom. What? Yeah, dude. The stairs to the cellar is in the bathroom. That's weird. My gosh, dude, what? This is so gross down here. Whoa, it's very dirty down here. Mm -hmm. It's just a mud floor. Oh my gosh. There's like chairs set up and everything down here. Look at this. What? Oh my God. Wow. Yeah, oh. it's pretty nasty, but that looks like original stone under here. Oh my God. What do you think happened down here? I don't know. Like. I'm wondering if that's like the crawl space in the Everett story where they would like store the bodies under the house. Oh yeah. I haven't seen like a crawl space anywhere else in the house. That's like the closest thing to it. In the packet, it talked about how they would store their bodies in the crawl space. And that's right behind you. That's probably it. I really don't know, but there is definitely bodies found on this property. So whether or not the Everett story is true, what's undeniable is there are dead bodies on the property. Is there anybody down here with us? If you hear our voices right now, can you knock on something, move something? It's really eerie down here. It's like really quiet. It's dead quiet. Okay. 
Can you move something in here? One of these stones? Kick up some dirt? Let us know you're here. We're gonna be in here for a little bit. If you can give us a sign, we'll stay down here and talk to you. Just gotta let us know you're here. We have equipment and other things that we can use to communicate with you, but we just wanna know if there is someone down here or not. We know the cellar door opens on its own a lot. Can you shut it for us? I left it open, so can you shut it? I'm just nervous, like the night kind of started off calm and a little more lighthearted, more of like a trickster type spirit. But then as the night went on, it got darker and darker. Mm -hmm. And we ended 20 minutes ago on a very evil demonic note. Like they were saying that every time they said the word exorcist or exorcism, that the REM pods would go off. And there was a family, the Dandy family, that literally moved in here, tried to start a new life. And a year and a half later, we're moving out, had a full blown exorcism and were terrorized. Dude, it went off. I'm not kidding. What I heard the REM pod. Dude, I almost feel like we should set up that other camera back up in the yeah. room again. To have proof that it's going off. Mm -hmm. I think we'd follow up with them where they were upstairs. Yeah, and then just leave a camera in the first floor by that REM pod. Yeah. All right, if there's anyone down here though, we're gonna go back upstairs. Feel free to follow us up there and have a conversation with us. All right, well this will at least give us proof that this is going off when we say it is. Here we go. The REM pod is right there. All right. Up the stairs Let's we go. Go back upstairs. Let's go to the very, very haunted second floor. Okay. This is the room where, what, Mary lived in? Mary Dandy? Yeah, Mary was one of the daughters of the Dandy family and her entire family saw signs of early possession with her and they attributed it to the room she was in. So they actually nailed this room shut and had her moved down to her sister's bedroom, which was on the first floor. Like they and thought this demon that was affecting her, that they could trap it in that room. And they couldn't. And now and it's open. So yeah, and now it's wide open. The owner said a lot of times, like people will come up here and that room will be completely infested with bugs. Well, like how? It's so weird of all the rooms to have that one be the one full of bugs. Right? Like just that one room, but everywhere else is fine. I just don't like it in here. I got the chills, dude. No. Man. Okay, yeah, right. Okay, creepy ass stairs. Yeah, this is like what you're not supposed to do at night. You at the thermon? Oh yeah. Maybe just do a quick scan. Okay. Nothing. Nothing? Nothing out of the ordinary. This is literally as far as I would want to go. Oh gosh, yeah, I just don't know about this. Oh, that's fucked. What? Look at that. What? The thing that you're staring at. I don't know what it is. It's a creepy ass tree with a bunch of shit on it. Oh jeez. I literally have the worst night vision, so you're literally with the worst person. Fantastic. Hate that for us so much. I got you. Uh, dope. <laughs> dope. I watched way too many scary movies to know how this is supposed to end. Does it end well? Never. Never does. Oh. Usually the blonde girl goes first. What do bald people do? Do we win? Usually. Usually you're okay. Yes! <laughs> Let's go. The odds are in your favor. We have not made it very far. <laughs> no, we haven't. <laughs> but I'm just trying to make jokes so I don't feel so scared. By the way, Dan, the owner, was saying that they like caught a photo of like a creature in a tree, man. Like even above us isn't safe. I have not been doing that. Okay, what's that? Shut up. Where, where to go? What do you mean? There was like a little speck. Where to go? Where to go? But you actually saw that? Great. I actually saw a little like white heat signature up in the tree and then I tried to focus on it and then it went away. I'm not kidding. This is not what I need to hear right now. Is this what we were supposed to run into? I would assume so. That's the only thing that looks completely goofed up. My guess would be it's like a memorial offering for the Native Americans. Okay, that's 
good. We know that people see a lady in white walking around. If you can hear my voice, can you show yourself? Creepy as all heck out here. If there's anybody here that can hear my voice, Chelsea's gonna be taking photos. Can you come closer to us? Step in front of the flashing light. It won't hurt you. We just wanna see you. I'm putting this away, but I'll look at those later. I did not see anything in that quick amount of time I looked at it. Okay, I'm gonna take out the GPS device. And we'll see if there's anything out here that actually wants to communicate with us instead of crunch leaves. If there is anything out here that would like to communicate with us, you can use this device and choose the words that you would like to say to us. Scare. Scare. Of course that's the first word. Do you know that we're uncomfortable and that we're scared? The code and Alex said that you're saying some pretty evil stuff out here, like demon and hell. Who are you? Are you just trying to scare people, or are you something evil? Oh. Home. Home? Like, this is its home. Oh. Home. I think we should try the Estes method. Try the Estes, okay. The Estes method is interesting. It's basically I'll have the spirit box on, but running into my ears, and I'll cover my eyes with the blindfold, and I'm just gonna say any words that I hear, and I won't know what Alex is asking, though, so it's kind of like an unbiased spirit box. We'll see if something wants to channel itself through me. I will not be able to hear Alex's questions. I'm gonna have this loud spirit box blasting into my ears. Anything that I hear, I will relay to you. And hopefully by the end of this thing, it makes sense. Ooh, it's loud. All right, I'm going under. Testing, testing, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me? If you're talking, can you hear me? It's like very, very, very faint. Is there anyone in here that wants to have a conversation with us? Dakota can hear your voice through the device he's listening to. Is there anyone that wants to step in this room and communicate with us? Tall. Tall. Are you saying that we're tall or you're tall? Are you the little boy that died in this house? I've heard there's a few. It's... Tall. It's tall? Can you give me your name? I'd really like to know who I'm addressing. Any warning we should have about being in here? Messing around with things that we don't really understand? I'm leaving. He's heard like a guy laughing, really creepy laugh. What the hell a laugh is? <sighs> Can you tell us what happened out here? Mary, wait, isn't Mary a? Mary's one of the kids, Mary's room, second floor. That's the room where we did the SS method. Like what are the chances of that? Do you think whatever was on this ground started messing with Mary in, in her room? Totally. I cannot believe it just said the word Mary out here. Like, I'm starting to suspect that something about the land even was messing with it. It wasn't even just the house and the murders. We have a device. So you can come and use it to say any word that you want. Hunters. Hunters? We're not hunters. 
Is that how you died? <gasps> I just saw a light flash. What, what, what? Dude, I saw a flash of light. What is freaking going on right now? I don't know, but I'm starting to get super creeped out. I have, I'm very uneasy. Oh, what was that? That was a, something's moving around. I honestly feel like we're just being stalked right now. Are you evil? They performed an exorcism on this house for a reason. We know that there's evil here. Who are you? Who are you? Dude. My name is Alex, and this is Dakota in front of me. That's who we are. Our two friends are out in the woods, Tanner and Chelsea. We got some really unsettling responses out there. Do you know what is haunting these woods? Hmm, that was weird. I don't know if it said they should leave or something should leave. Tanner and Chelsea should probably leave the woods. What's gonna happen if they don't? It will now. What? Very, really loud screams say very something. Okay, so you're saying we should get them out of the woods? Whoever I'm talking to, you're being very vague. I'd like some direct answers to what is going to happen if they stay in the woods. Oh God, dude, that was so weird. It's like a male that said something like, never be the same, they'll never be the same. What? What? I'm just, I'm just freaking out. What? I was just freaking out. Okay. I was just saying what, like, Oh, I don't know what I thought you said. Okay, we're going back. Yeah, that was weird. Dude, are we in danger of like being possessed, being attacked by something demonic, something evil? What? I just heard tapping on the wall. Yo. What the hell? Go look. Go look. Outside. I'm looking outside right now out the window. I don't see anything. I don't even see their flashlights in the woods. Are you about to show yourself to them out there? Dude, I don't like this. Where'd you see the flash of light, Chelsea? We're in there. In there? Yep. Anger. That's super. Anger. We're angering you? We don't mean to anger you. We're just a little uh, nervous being out in the woods in a place we've never been before. Rage. Rage? Rage? Bear. Oh, hell no. What? Hell no. Okay. No. Whoa. What? You not hear that voice? <gasps> I'm honestly kind of freaked out that it's warning us about a bear. And now I can't unthink it. Is there even bears out here? Probably. What happened in these woods that made you so angry? Why did it make you want to rage? I just have a really bad feeling over here. Like, down this way. I don't even know what questions to ask because I'm so like... Oh, whoa! What? I'm seeing shit with my eyes. Dude, I, I saw stuff over there, same spot. Move. I think we should walk up more. Walk up more? Yeah. Okay. I just want to get this out of my head where I feel like something's moving over here. Yeah, this is where I saw it. Yeah, like right in here, I thought I saw movement and Chelsea thought she saw movement and like just for a peace of mind thing, I want to just like check this clearing, but I don't see anything and there's nothing on the thermal. <sighs> Something is moving back there.
I'm actually like tripping out. Same. Like I'm, I'm hearing like movement and like things surrounding us and like I don't see anything. How I'm feeling right now is that we are surrounded by like six different things. Like, like there is no place to go anymore. How do I know we can trust you in what you're saying? It's simple. I don't know what that said. Dude, I don't understand. Why are you being so cryptic? You won't tell us who you are. Are you this demonic entity that's in this house? Can you give us a yes or a no answer for that? Watch them burn. Dude. Oh, it was like a, I don't even know. That was a weird voice. I don't like that response at all. Watch them burn. Dude. Oh, it was like a, I have the chills, Alex. Dude. The way it said that was like sinister. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. My arm just started burning. Yo, yo, what? yo, yo, yo. What? Dude, right when that happened, dude, I'm not kidding. My arm just started burning. Really? Like inside of my elbow. What, what did I even say? Dude. It, like everything was evil. It was like burn, but oh, I need to check this. My arm is like itching and burning right now. Let's see. Go off IR. Right here. Oh yeah, there's like a little redness there for sure. What the f dude? That's weird. If all of a sudden I start getting like scratch marks there, that's gonna be f weird. Right when you were talking about that, my arm started burning and itching. I felt like for the first couple of responses, it was like the girls even. It was like, I said yeah. when it was a girl voice, but then after like two minutes, it was all guy voice, all weird, evil sounding responses. Well, dude, you literally said like, I'm leaving. Like, like the girl left. Like there was a major shift from the time whatever spirit female was coming through that said, I'm leaving now. All the responses after were pure evil. I wonder who the girl was at first. Like that had to be maybe one of the dandy girls. Yeah. Whoever she was, she left pretty in a hurry, it seemed like. Yeah. Like there's something on this land that like completely overpowers everything else here. Let's go down to the kitchen. Let's wait for Chelsea and Tanner. Yeah. Okay, we're not getting any responses on the PS device. We're definitely hearing movement. We're not catching anything on IR, nothing on thermal. But we can 100% say that these woods are 100 hundred percent haunted something is happening like the vibe check is off yeah i mean we were getting responses on the ps device for a while and then like it just like stopped all right let's get out of these woods oh shit gosh dang it you stripper stick with no leg how's it going out there guys we're in the front yard. We're coming to you. Hey. Yo. Oh. I don't like woods, dude, I just realized. No. I don't like woods in the slightest. Dude, how creepy was coming across that tree. Oh, terrifying. We didn't know what it was used for at first, so we're just like, what is this? Like, is this a good thing or a bad thing? Uh -huh. We uh, get out of the cold and yes, let you guys warm up. And yeah. Finish yes. the night off inside. Well, this would be a really good time for anyone watching to go and check out the Fear Club. If you guys want some bonus scenes, some bonus material from this episode, or if you just want monthly podcasts, monthly giveaways, merchandise limited only to the Fear Club. And if you just want to support us monetarily, that's the best way you can do it. Go check out that Fear Club. We're gonna go take a little break and keep going. All right, so we all just met up again. We are back in the house. We're in the living room. 
What do you guys say we do some digital recorder sessions? Let's do it. We haven't like pulled out the digital recorder once tonight. This mm. is the first time. Yeah, this will be interesting. I mean, I feel like we kind of are in need of some direct communication right now. We need some real answers. Everything we've talked to tonight has been vocal, but standoffish when it comes to giving us an identity. It's almost five in the morning, so we really only have like an hour, hour and a half left. I'm gonna roll on the digital recorder. This is a device that picks up frequencies our ears can't hear, so when we play this back, we are gonna be listening for voices that aren't ours. All right, I am recording on the digital recorder, setting it on the table. If there's somebody here and you can hear our voices, we have something that will be able to hear your voice. Can you tell us who we're talking to right now, who might be in this room with us? We've been warned about something very evil here. Can you tell us what this evil is? Why is it here? There were many deaths here. If you are somebody who passed away here, can you tell us how you did pass away? Who's over there? Who's in the corner of the room right now, making that light go off? If you walk over towards us, there's a device that you can talk to. We know that there was an exorcism done in this very room, but it didn't go as planned. Can you tell us what happened? Why did you terrorize the Dandy family? What did they do to deserve that? All right. I'm gonna cut on the digital recorder and then we're gonna play this back and see if we got anything. Definitely a lot of really good questions. There's somebody here and you can hear our voices. We have something that will be able to hear your voice. Can you tell us who we're talking to right now? Who might be in this room with us? We've been warned about something very evil here. Can you tell us what this evil is? Why is it here? I don't remember that noise. That's weird. I don't remember that noise. Almost sound like a piano. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna play that again, just to hear that. It's weird. I don't get that. It literally sounds like someone took their hand and like hit it on a piano. Exactly. I definitely did not hear that. That noise was not made out loud. about the dandy family like why did you terrorize them the first thing i hear is dandy clear as day dandy but then there's more why did you terrorize the dandy family what did they do to deserve that 
they do to deserve that. figure that one out. I'm hearing stay. Yeah, there's, it ends with stay. It says dandy something stay. And it's either like overstayed or like couldn't stay. Either like they overstayed maybe. Dandy, they overstayed. And no matter what, it's definitely dandy. Duh, 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 duh. What it's saying. It's weird that it repeated their last name too. Dandy. Yeah. Can you do it one more time? <laughs> like, why did you terrorize them? Because they wanted to stay? Yeah, and they like they were literally scared out of here. Mm -hmm. Let's say there was some type of, like, spirit that attached itself to this land far before any anyone had a home here. The first people to build a home used it as a serial killer vault for bodies. Mm -hmm. If there was some type of protective spirit here well before, it's like, I wouldn't want somebody on my property or my land either if they misused it and abused it. Mm -hmm. The first homeowners were the ones that set the tone for everybody else. It would fit the description of this thing that's been cursing this land forever. Like, this family wanted to stay. Mm -hmm. I had to get rid of them. But if there's anyone watching this who has a better idea. Tell us. Yeah, seriously, comment below like what you think this just said. Because this could help us answer a lot of things. Okay, I have one final question I want to ask, knowing that. I'm re-rolling on the digital recorder. All right, so we just heard your voice. We asked about the Dandy family, and you said their name, and you said they wanted to stay. That's why you terrorized them. How do you feel about Dan, the current owner, and the fact that he's not living here, but on a daily basis, he's inviting new groups of people here all the time? Cut. Just asked one question. That's like one thing about these EVP sessions. Like we ask questions for so long, long breaks, long pauses, and to not get anything except on that question is weird. Don't understand why whatever this thing is is so willing to talk but not explain anything at the same time. What do you want to do, Al? There's only, what time is it? 5.30. 5.30, we have maybe an hour left. What do you think? Maybe we separate again, have two people upstairs, two people down here, whatever happens, happens kind of thing. Wait for the sun to come up. Yeah. Where do we go? Yeah, I don't know. Chelsea, Mary's bedroom. Okay. It sounds like you were having fun up there before. Dakota, do you want the main bedroom up there? So me and Chelsea yeah. upstairs? Yeah. Tanner, you got Mike's room, I got the nice warm room. Nice. <laughs> I think something was getting into Alex's head. Oh, I think so too. I like this room. He wants to be All in the exorcism right. room. How are you feeling? Oh, I just got a migraine. It's kind of weird though. This is like the one location we've been to where there's actually possessions and you have a migraine. When did it start? I don't even remember. I'm out of it all of a sudden. Was it before you went to the woods or after? It must have been after because I was fine and going to the woods. That's creepy, dude. Considering some of like the warnings you got. never be the same. Yeah, will never be the same. Nice. Definitely keep an eye on it. Yeah, I'm gonna. Love this. I do too.
Right now I am in the living room, the exorcism living room. I have the PS device. So I'm just gonna turn it on, keep asking some questions, see if anything pops up. I still have the REM pod behind the camera. So if it does go off, I'll try to flip the camera so that you can see it. We'll see. We got no response when asked if, you know, someone like Dan who owns this place, do you terrorize him? Do you want him to leave? All the people that come into this house every single day, how do you feel about that? What would you prefer happens to this house? Myself. Myself. You want this whole place to yourself? If that's true, why haven't you done anything to, you know, get everyone out of here? Why haven't you done something so bad that no one ever wants to step foot in this house? I'm so freaked out that this door is just gonna like slam shut. Seriously though, considering the story. I wish I could like go back in time and ask the family like why this room was so bad compared to all the other rooms in the house. Yeah, I mean, from what I know, Mary had like early stages of possession and I think they thought by locking the door they could lock that evil entity in there. It's not what you expect when you buy a house and start a family. And that whole family just sounded like they really went through so much. It's kind of sad to think about. Alright, Chelsea, so I'm just going to turn an ovulus on. This is another one of those devices with the word database inside of it. to see if something or someone wants to talk. If anyone wants to talk to me or Chelsea for the next 45 minutes, you can use this device and choose words. Sitting in Mikey's room, I got the REM pod. You know how that thing works. If something gets close to it, it'll sound off, light up. I have a headache and it is robbing right now. So it just randomly popped on and I, I just can't even think right now. My head is killing me right now. Damn. Mikey, can you uh, make this REM pod go off? I know you've been doing it the whole entire time. We are here. Now that I'm in the room with you, can you make it go off? Just got freezing cold in here. Holy shit. Mike, did you just walk into this room? Wow. Mike, if you're not gonna make this room pod go off, can you go over into the living room and make that one go off in Beth's room? Tell me about the Everett brothers. Are there really bodies that were stored in this house in the crawl space? This is such a strange night because there's just so many claims here and so many different types of spirits. You have animal hybrids. You have an evil spirit that is going to possess people. Dude, I swear, maybe I'm losing my mind, but I saw something. Just a black figure. That's weird. I know you didn't see it, but out of the corner of my eye, to my left side, I swear I thought I saw just a figure of a body just right next to me. Are you in this room with me? Can you please have some sort of conversation with me? Something? I feel like we're all dispersed as if like how the family would have been. Yeah. Like they're going to bed, separating, going to their own spots. It'll be interesting to see where the past. Past? Does this remind you of the past? What happened to Mary up here? Is there any sort of message you would like to get out to the world, get out to the public? What happens to people that stay here too long? Usually. Usually. 
Okay, let's wait for the next word. Usually pain. No way, dude. What? What? Yo, dude. What? This is so f creepy. Dude, I asked, what happens to people that stay here too long? And it said usually and then pain. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that either. Oh my God, dude. So this evil spirit, I don't know if that's who I'm talking to. I don't know if that's who's in the house or if there's another spirit that was warning us about this thing. What exactly does this evil spirit want? Did someone just breathe? That was me. You okay? Kinda. I mean, I just tried to stretch my neck and just got a super sharp pain in it. I feel like something's happening to Tana. Kinda worried about it. Me too. It came out of nowhere. Like it started when we got back from the forest. It must have gotten worse after the digital recorder. How you feeling, Tanner? My neck is in a lot of pain. Has it gotten worse? Yes. I have been in this room trying to stretch it pretty much this whole time, and it has just gotten worse. It's not good. I just felt like a cold sensation on my knee. That's really weird. I didn't feel any temperature change. No, it's, it was a focal area. It was like a very isolated spot on my knee. I'm recording on the thermal. Chelsea just felt something on her knee. I don't see anything. Nothing on the thermal? Nope. Like, unless if I, like, touched there's nothing, even my flashlight isn't as cold as I felt. Weird. Is Tanner okay right now? Is he in trouble? If you had to describe this house and this property in one word, what would it be? Grave. Yo. That's weird, dude. What? I just asked if you could describe this property and this house in one word, what would you describe it as? And it said grave. With all the death and murder here, that's a perfect word for this place. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. I mean, this is actually still a grave to a lot of people right now. That's weird. Okay, can you tell me where most of the bodies are buried on this property? Yo. What? No bullshit. I like tried to like meditate and just like sit here and I just said, please leave me alone. And I'm hand on a Bible, my headache is gone. Really? Hand on a Bible. Did you like pray? Yeah. And my neck doesn't hurt and my head doesn't hurt. I have the chills. Like I actually feel very weird. Dude, I swear, like, something is trying to mess with you. Like, my neck feels fine, my head feels fine. I don't know, you're gonna see it on camera. I just, like, put my hands together, like, praying, looked up, tried to meditate, and then said, please leave me alone. And I'm not joking, my headache is gone. That was weird. Something was, like, trying to, like, oppress you. That was weird. I didn't like that. I've had a splitting headache and a migraine, and just sharp pains for hours now. Do a quick prayer saying, leave me alone. And it just went away. 
you can hear my voice, whoever's here, whatever's here. How do you feel about Tanner praying? Is Tanner okay right now? Is he in trouble? What was happening to Tanner? What's your end goal with this property? What do you want out of being here? For me. It's for you? That's what you want out of this, is it's just for you? What do you want out of this property? And it says, for me. So you want this entire property for yourself. You don't want people here. You don't want anyone else on it, to own it, to occupy it, to live on it. You want this all for you. Is that why you force the dandies out? Is that why you try to get people to leave here all the time and not come back? Well, it's almost 7 a.m. now, and I can see the skies outside through the windows getting a little bit lighter. There's really not a whole lot coming through. PS device now. I think it's about time we wrap it up here. Al, do I hear you wrapping up? Yeah, sun's coming up. You guys want to meet up down here? Happily. Started feeling better right after you prayed. Literally started meditating. Just went like this. Please leave me alone. And all of a sudden, Oh. No, no pain in the neck, no pain in the head. Dude, that's really weird. That uh, it's it's really weird. dead ass kind of freaked me out. I couldn't handle the pain anymore. And I was just like, please. And then bam, gone. Look, I mean, f I wouldn't do that if I had a migraine. Like, my neck is f***ing fine now. You'll see it, and then you're just gonna see me kind of go like, what the f*** just happened? Oh my gosh. Moral of the story, when in doubt, Pray. Pray it out. Yeah, Pray seriously. it out. And the migraine thing was weird too because it was like after the digital recorder session, but before we started recording to split up is when you kind of mentioned it. You went and sat in the dark. It was like literally like the last like, like minute of us trying to figure out what that thing was saying. I was like starting to get like a headache. And then once we split up and I like, it was just like uncontrollable. And then I sat down and it was just getting worse and worse. Something was definitely affecting you. I don't know. I, it's like, I don't know. It's that's the, one of the weirdest things of all time. It was just like instant. We did get this statement earlier too of you'll never be the same. Mm -hmm. Like that could have been the warning of I'm about to show you guys what I can actually do. I don't get it. You guys want to get the hell out of yeah, here? Yeah, I do. Like I'm pretty done with this place right now. Let's get out of here. Yeah. With so many layers of history to the Hinsdale house, it's no joke that this entire property is just one big gravesite. I can definitely say Hinsdale House did not disappoint. There are so many layers to this place. I feel like we just scratched the surface, but we still feel like we're leaving at the right time. I feel like we uncovered a lot of dark history. I don't think that we should stay in this house any longer. Hinsdale House took it to the next level. To end the night with Tanner being affected like that just really, really shook us. And that's got me really worried considering we still have two more haunted houses to hit on this trip. Woo! Oh, right! We are done. That's it. That is it. We did it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Do not forget to like this video. It's the simplest thing you can do, but it goes the longest way. Like this video, please. Also, where'd you guys find the duck? Yeah, where, yeah, is, where is that? Comment down below where you found the duck. It's hidden one time in this video. Yeah, swear to God, there's a hidden by the duck. <clears throat> you should cut to like a wide shot of the drone. Right oh, no. about now. Wow, wow, that's a beautiful that's shot. Pretty cool. Wow. That's pretty dang wow. cool. How'd you do that? At Dak, is that you? Huh? Did you get this? I got the shot, yeah. Wow. But I don't know how I did it. Huh. Cue music. Bow wow. Yeah. Now the logo. Bow.